Many teachers turn to Google Forms when they need to create a quick and easy digital assessment that can be automatically graded and integrates nicely with their Google Classroom. I'm going to head over to Google Forms really quick so we can take a look. There are some problems with Google Forms, and those specifically lie in its limitations. If you've ever used Forms before, you know that you only have a handful of question types that you can choose from including short and long answer, multiple choice checkbox drop-down, and a handful of other options. These, of course, are great, but do limit you if you want to create different question types. For example, there's not really a built-in way to rank choices or a matching type question. And while you can do it with different workarounds, it's not really ideal. So with that challenge in mind, I set out to find alternatives. And there are quite a few online, lots of different tools that let teachers create all sorts of different digital activities and assessments. But one of the most flexible and easy to use that I found was book widgets. Let's take a look. We'll begin by heading over to bookwidgets.com. Here, I can learn more about this tool. But for now, let's just dive right in by clicking on the green Sign In button. I'm going to use the built-in Sign In with Google feature to activate my Book Widgets account. Once I'm all registered, Book Widgets is going to give me an automated tour of the interface to show me a little bit about how it works. Let's skip through that now. OK, now that I've gone through the tour, I'm at my dashboard, and I can create my first assessment activity, or what Book Widgets calls my first widget. I'm going to click on Create a Widget. And here, I can view a whole list of different templates or different types of widgets that I can use. These vary greatly, with the green section being the ones you'll use most commonly. These are activities or assessments. And you can click on any of them to begin building them. Below, we have a section for games, a section dedicated to media and pictures and video, a section dedicated to math, and then embedding third-party items like Google Maps and browsers, and then a miscellaneous section. For this example, let's create a simple quiz. This brings me into the editor, and the first thing I want to do is give my quiz a name. So I'm going to click up here and type in a name. And now I can begin by adding my first question. I'll click on the Add Question button, and you'll see this is where Book Widgets really shines. I have many different choices of question types that I can use within my test. I can drag and drop fill in tables, multiple choice, annotated pictures, and more. And all of these can be incorporated into one digital activity. Let's begin by adding a simple text-based multiple choice question. This is my question editor, where I can type in the question, and then my possible answers. I'll be sure to indicate the correct answer by making sure it is checked off. Below, I have lots of different settings that I can control, including randomizing the answer order, using a multi-column layout, adding hints, audio, images, on all sorts of different options which you can play with. At any point, I can preview the question by clicking on Preview, and it will show me what the student will see. You can tell it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. I'm going to go back and add a second question. And this time, let's have students label a diagram. So I'm going to scroll down and choose Annotate Picture. And here, I'm going to give some instructions. Now I could bring in my diagram.
And here's where I need to add my input fields. So these are the places where students will label the diagram. So I'm going to add one, and I'm going to click on the image to place it. So I want students to label this side of the mountain. And the correct answer for that will be the windward side. And then I'm going to add an additional one, which will be over here. And the correct answer is the leeward side. And now I can preview. Here's my first question. Let's do an answer and go to the next question. And here's my diagram. And you'll notice I can type my responses right in. And when I'm done, I can submit. And now I'm going to add a third question. For this one, let's do a matching question where we match text with images. So I'm going to choose word, picture, match questions. First, I'll type in the question. And then I'm going to start adding my pairs. For the first one, we will do a trellis drainage pattern. So I'm going to type in the word trellis and add my diagram. And now I'm going to add a second. And this one will be dendritic. And I'll add the associated image. And then we'll do one more. This will be radial. And I'll add my image. Now that I've added all three choices, I can preview the questions again, starting with my multiple choice, my annotation, and my matching. And once everything looks good, I can go back to my main page for my quiz. And here, I can change some additional settings. I can give it a specific name. I want to make sure to enable that submitting answers will take place so that students can actually do the work. I can control it so students can only submit one time. And then I have some additional options down here. I have all sorts of grading options that I can play around with, localization to make it custom to your region, Design, by adding a cover image or how the quiz is oriented, I can change its appearance. And then I'm all set to go. At any point, I can share this with my students. And this is where Book Widgets is really powerful. I'm going to click on Share. And you'll notice that I have a few options. I can share this with a link, which is quick and easy, through email, a QR code, or I can send it directly to Google Classroom. Let's do that now. I'm going to connect Book Widgets to my Google Classroom account. Once connected, this connection will remain so you can send future widgets to your classroom quickly and easily. I'm going to choose the course that I want to send it to and click on Send to Google Classroom. Let's see what it looks like on the classroom side. Here I am in my Google Classroom, and I can see in my stream that that assignment has posted from Book Widgets. Let's click on it to see what it looks like. If I go to Instructions, I'll see the Science Quiz attached, and this is what students can click on. To get a better understanding, let's switch over to a student account and see what they will see. I'm now logged in as a student enrolled in this class, and I see that my teacher posted a new assignment, and here it is. As a student, all I need to do is click on that assignment, and it will open up the quiz in Book Widgets. I just log in with my school account, and I'm brought right to the quiz. I'm going to go ahead and complete the quiz as the student.
Once I've submitted my assignment, Book Widgets shows me the correct answer so I can see immediately how I did. Of course, this is something teachers can control in the Book Widgets settings. Back in Google Classroom, you'll see that the assignment for the student has automatically been turned in and there's nothing else he or she needs to do. Let's switch back over to the teacher account and see what it looks like on her end. Okay, now we're back in as the teacher and I'm gonna go into my classwork page and into this assignment and I'm gonna view the assignment. And I see that one student has turned it in. I see their score right here. And if I wanna see the details, I can click on their assignment here, just as I would with any Google Doc or other Google file assigned through Google Classroom. When I'm ready, I can return the grade to the students and it'll be saved within my Google Classroom gradebook. I'm back in my book widgets page here and I can head to my widgets dashboard where I see all of the widgets I have created. I can create as many as I'd like. And I just wanted to point out that there are so many options in here and so many different types of activities and assessments you can create, it's pretty amazing. A great way to get started is to click on Examples. And here you can see multiple live examples of different assignments all created with book widgets. Just to give you an idea of how flexible this is, let's take a look at a few, including these chemical element flashcards, all made within book widgets. and these simple exit slips on square roots. And even complex web quests that have all sorts of activities embedded right within them. As you can see, the possibilities are quite limitless with this tool. It's definitely worth going in and taking a look at. Thanks for watching.